I'm Julie Francis, archaeologist with the Wyoming Department of Transportation. We are standing on the Beartooth Plateau at an elevation of nearly 11,000 feet next to the Beartooth Highway, US 212. The Beartooth Plateau was first uplifted during the Laramide orogeny approximately 80 to 55 million years ago. In this particular area, uplift continued up until about 2 million years ago until the Ice Age. And we see a landscape here that has been sculpted by Pleistocene glaciation in many different ways. Start off the top of this plateau uh, down to the Precambrian core. At the same time, the glaciers flowed off the sides of this plateau and created the steep, rugged valleys of the Clarks Fork River and Rock Creek going over in this direction. It was known and used by Native Americans for thousands of years, but because of the various geologic processes, the high elevation, the severe climates, and the steep, steep topography, this formed one of the most formidable obstacles to modern transportation. Prospectors explored this area in the 1860s, and in 1869, gold was discovered near Cook City, Montana, along with several other precious metals. This began to create the need for transportation into the area. Yellowstone Park was created in 1872, and with the creation of the park also came the need to bring in tourists. Until 1882, that the first organized expedition led by General Philip Sheridan was able to actually cross the, the Beartooth Plateau. Approaches Act was passed by Congress in 1931. This allowed for an approach road into Yellowstone Park through Cook City to following much the same route that Sheridan took in 1882. The road has been upgraded in different places over, you know, almost continuously since it was completed in 1936. modern Americans and people from all over the world to appreciate the incredible geology and scenery and natural beauty of this area.